1476, Palatia. A great war raged between Dracula and humanity. Just when it seemed that there was no hope for mankind to prevail, out of the darkness and despair, a champion arose. A true-blooded vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont. Belmont and his comrades triumphantly slew Lord Dracula. A truly glorious victory for all. However, the Evil One did not pass from this world in silence. With his final words, Lord Dracula left a demonic curse that enshrouded all of Europe in misery and torment. Ravaged by hideous plague and dire famine, the people's hearts turned black and murderous. The weak were slain without pity, while the land was pillaged and scourged without remorse. Three years have passed since the death of Lord Dracula, and the invocation of Dracula's curse. I know you're here! Hector! Is that you? I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you tracked me down? <laughs> I was the one who lured you here. Hector, the fool who betrayed our Lord Dracula. That matters not! I've come to exact my revenge upon you, for the death of Rosalie! Oh, and how will you have this revenge? <laughs> when you are utterly at my mercy, you relinquished your powers. You couldn't even protect your own woman. And now you think to defeat me? <laughs> Lord Dracula is gone, but his powers are still here in Valacia. Even you must realize. Devil forging. Indeed, with this the most forbidden of arts, a wisp of conjured matter can be transformed into a hellish devil. There are but two humans who possess this magnificent power. You and I. <laughs> yes, to our lasting shame. But I shed that evil power. Never again will I use it. Ah, but you will, Hector, and soon you have no choice. Without it, I could crush you in an instant. But that wouldn't be very satisfying, now would it? You deserve a most gruesome fate for the humiliation you brought upon me three years ago. Bereft of the power of devil forging, you cannot hope to pursue me. That is why you will reclaim your powers, and thence follow where I lead you. <laughs> but, in the end, the glorious vengeance you seek will not be yours. It will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Isaac! Damn him. So be it. I must descend into darkness and reclaim that accursed power once more. Heed my words. I will hunt you down like the beast you are! Visualization. So, that's how. 
how badly he wants me to regain my powers. Very well. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release him with the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living! Immaculate being, appear before me now! Forging, isn't it? Never seen that before. Quite impressive. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Who are you? Oh, my apologies, my lord. I should have offered an introduction. I go by Zed. I'm here for one purpose only. To purify this land of the pestilent curse which infects it. I see. You, on the other hand, are pursuing the other Devil Forge Master, are you not? The one you seek fled toward the chapel on the other side of the mountain. He made his escape through the back of the castle. What concern is this to you? He is the one protecting the curse. Ergo, he is an impediment to me and to all those who abide in this land. I see. Very well. I, Hector, thank you for your help. Now, if you'll forgive me, I must be on my way. of service? Uh, no. Forgive me. My name is Hector. What are you doing in a place like this? I could ask you the same question, sir. I am searching for someone. A man bearing the same crest I'm wearing. And this man, is he your enemy or your friend? You sound as if you know him. Yes, quite so. Now answer me. Be he your friend or foe? He is my most bitter enemy. I see. In that case, I shall help you. Pardon me, milady, but by what reason would you offer me this boon? Indeed, by what reason should I trust it? Your enemy is my enemy. That is reason enough. If you are a Devil Forge Master, you shall need a place to keep your little friend safe. Rest assured, you have no reason to refuse my help. You seem quite knowledgeable. Who are you exactly? A witch. I escaped from the western lands where we were hunted like vermin. I have the power to envision the future. How interesting. And your name? Julia. My house is further on. I shall prepare an elixir that may be of use to you. Farewell, for now. Julia, she is the very image of Rosalie. I've been waiting for you, Hector, Devil Forge Master. How do you know me? Who are you? Saint Germain. I won't bandy words with you. I have an urgent request. Please, refrain from pursuing Isaac any further. Bastard! So you're with Isaac! But that does not follow. Isaac wishes to fight me. For what purpose do you make this request? This will not make sense to you, but to put it simply, I seek to maintain the flow of greater will. This is pointless. Out of my way! Your beloved was killed on false allegations that she was a witch. I know how you feel, and I sympathize truly, but please look past Rats! your own dragon. How do you know of these things? That, I cannot tell. I know far more than you imagine. But I cannot act upon that knowledge. That is my <laughs> arrangement. I may only observe. I, I have no choice but to excuse myself. Please, consider my request. The world 
hangs in the balance. Goodbye. Wait! That crest! Are you the Devil Forge Master? That whip, could he be? Answer me! Are you the Devil Forge Master? I am. Then this is the hour of your death. <laughs> On your oath, are you truly the Devil Forge Master? And if I am? For one that served under Dracula, you seem much too weak. It's been said that the Devil Forge Master's power rivals that of death. Ah, so you are hunting for Isaac as well, I see. As well? Then you're not... Wait... I recall there was another Devil Forge Master. They say he betrayed Dracula and forswore his powers, but that was three years ago during the war. Could he have survived? Cannot be. Believe what you like, but answer me this. Are you not Trevor Belmont, the one who defeated Lord Dracula? That I am, though I did not fight alone. There were many brave warriors beside me. And your name, sir? Hector. Hector. I shall remember that name. I'm pleased to see you are unharmed. Did you think me dead? I saw him earlier. I feared that perhaps... I came too late then. Which way did he go? Along this path lies a forest. He went there, probably making his way to the village on the other side. And what of your mission? To purify this land and remove the curse? Yes, the curse. In the end, it is all Isaac. He is the source of this pestilence. He... Ah... How could I forget? There is a matter I must attend to. By your leave. You again. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I was expecting someone else. You spoke with him, didn't you? And why should I answer to you? Perhaps you'll accept my advice, then. You would do well to avoid... him. Do not be drawn in by his words. Your advice is neither solicited nor welcome. I will use any means necessary to achieve my revenge. You've been warned. I would like to speak with you further, but I must track him down quickly. He is the one being who is beyond my recollection. Goodbye for now. Telling you this. Voices. Who could it be? Do not go beyond your bounds. You mustn't speak nor act upon matters related to fate. You had better refrain from saying anything unsuitable. Oh, that is correct, of course, but what about you? Is it not ludicrous for you to be guiding a traveler in these circumstances? I am merely lending assistance to one who is seeking what he already desires. It is the same with the curse. That's ridiculous. You have different rules for yourself. This discourse is at an end. I cannot have you interfering any... <laughs> I will keep returning until the day you finally surrender. No one escapes from me. So, those two are enemies. You've caught up already. Isaac! It's still too soon, but all the same. 
I'll test your abilities and see how much of your power has been restored. Ah, how gratifying. Your power is indeed returning, but it's still not enough. Brother, stop! Julia! Return, Abel! Brother? What an annoying interruption. Well, so be it. It's still too early to finish you anyway. Regain more of your power first. You'll need it all if you hope to kill me. You are not getting away! No! Let him go! So, I was taken in. You were in league with Isaac all along! Think what you like, but I do wish for you to stop him honestly. Then why did you keep me from him? Because it is too soon! You still lack the strength and spirit to defeat him! I know that my strength is still growing, but what do you mean by my spirit? You must understand this. My brother is in the venomous grip of Lord Dracula's curse. The desires of a single man mean nothing. The curse rules him. Then go with Belmont or one of his vampire slayers, someone you can be sure of. No, Hector. You must be the one to defeat him. My brother has always respected you. Only you can free him from the curse. And also, if you are the one to slay him, only then could I live with it. I understand. Of course, he is your brother. Forgive me, I was vexed. I did not mean to offend. I will take my leave of you now. And I will do what I can. Be vigilant, Hector. I have an ill feeling. It bodes not well. Oh! An unexpected guest! So, Zed hasn't slain you yet? I see you were spying on us. But I am an expert at miraculous escapes. Despite that, however, I have fallen into his trap at last. Trap? What trap? Well, the space itself is a barrier. Which leads me to question, how did you get here? On foot, there were no barriers. Interesting. Most interesting. Yes, that is quite possible. What are you saying? Well, in this space, I may be partially freed of the fess of time. Well, that means I can have a direct physical effect here. For example, I could fight you. So is that your intent? To stop me by force? Not exactly. By fighting you, all that I need to know will be revealed. I surrender! I promise not to interfere with you again. Very well. I now see how fascinating time, or rather, fate, truly is. Just who are you? A traveler. Only half here. Not allowed to speak the truth. Not allowed to act upon reality. Yet, one who knows all. That about covers it. I see. Not allowed to speak the truth. Uh, please forget everything I have told you. A traveler merely passes through, touching nothing, changing nothing. But. There is one thing I can tell you. What is that? I feel... a new destiny flowing out of you. Walk the path that is meant for you, without fear, for you are no longer alone. Give my regards to Zed when you see him.
without skill. by a fluke, a mere twist of fortune, yet I grant you are adept. Hector! I need not linger here any longer. I've gotten what I need. But mark me well, I will slay both of you without fail. Without fail. So he escaped. He fled when he saw you. There can be no doubt of it, then. You are indeed his enemy. Just as I told you when we first met. Be that as it may, I am the one who shall vanquish him. Your meddling is unwelcome. Leave him to me. Pity. How unfortunate. Such a rare opportunity. Squandered. On the contrary. To obtain the vengeance I seek, Isaac must be slain by my hand alone. Ergo, nothing was lost. Think you so? Then you shall be glad to know where he is bound. And where might that be? The castle ruins where we first met. Do you remember the place? How could I forget? Well said. At the top of those ruins there is a hidden chamber. Tis there you shall find him. Then that is where I must go. Ah, I'd almost forgotten. Saint Germain gives you his regards. Saint Germain, you say? Did you meet him in the clock tower? Just so. He pledged he would no longer interfere in this matter. It cannot be. No, that is not possible. I must make haste to complete the final touches. I beg your leave. Adieu. Is that you, Hector? It is. I was told a hidden chamber lies beneath this castle. Isaac is there now. What? That's not possible. In order to open the passage to that chamber, the blood of my clan must... Oh. So that is why he fought me earlier. What is it, Belmont? It cannot be avoided. You must show me just how much power you've gained. Wait! I have no reason to fight you! This is your reason. Defend yourself! It's as if you're an entirely different person. So this is your true strength. Why did you attack me? The place to which Isaac has gone can only be entered by those who possess very advanced powers I had to test you. I see. Meaning you would have me pursue him. Indeed. But first you shall need my help. Come. There. It is done. So, the Belmont blood acts as a key. And what lies beyond this point? Do not ask if you knew your heart might waver. For now, hold the image of Isaac in your mind. Think only of defeating him. Very well. Hector, hunt him down. And when you have him, show him no mercy. Power! Dracula's castle? Have 
I arrive too late? Fiend! What are you doing here? I can't have you interfering beyond this point. I left that seal to Hector. Impossible! A seal cannot be undone except by a torrent of demonic energy. Hector could not know that. Do not equate a Devil Forge Master's power with that of an ordinary sorcerer. For a seal like that, the magic produced in battle is more than uh, enough. <laughs> Placing a guard there proved to be your downfall. Enough talk. Time to die. <laughs> <laughs> Before you stands Dracula's castle. I. The curse that was unleashed three years ago still emanates from it. Does this mean the source of the curse is still present? At this rate... Tis likely the remnants of Dracula's magic. And all because of me. Damn. I know not what happened to you in the past, but there's no time for regret. We must try to cleanse the castle and dispel the vile curse. If the curse spurs from demonic power, I may be able to find the source. Indeed, I must. For this is something only I can do. Then make haste. If the castle is fully resurrected, it is possible that Dracula is revived. If that is so, we must call Belmont. It is he who slew Dracula before. He can help us now. Alas, he cannot. But why? He suffered a terrible injury. I, I barely saved his life, but even now it hangs by a thread. Twas my brother's work and no other. I see. A Devil Forge Master is easily susceptible to Dracula's magic. Do not let the curse take hold of you. I'm certain that she would not wish you to pay such a price for your revenge. So, you know about Rosalie? The hour is late. Away to your purpose. And you to safety. Back to your home. Hector. Please do not die. You resurrected the castle! Hector! Bravo! You wanted me to regain my powers. Now I see why. I fell right into your plot. After three years of peace, I'd lost my edge. And I've sharpened mine. I've been waiting quite a long time to plot my revenge. Not only did my lord die because of you, you stripped me of my pride, my home. Now I shall make you suffer as I suffered. You shall die a most painful, gruesome death! Die, Isaac, die! Do not let the curse take hold of you. I'm certain that she would not wish you to pay such a price for your revenge. This murderous impulse, this thirst for bloody vengeance, this is not me. It is the curse! Dracula's curse! Oh, ho! Oh. And you would not fall prey to the curse. Praiseworthy indeed. I wonder why. Was your desire for vengeance weak? Or was your spirit strong? No matter. Either way, it is well finished. Your efforts have been a great boon to me. The moment you wavered was all I needed. Said. So, you're the one behind all of this? You could say that. 
You used me to revive Lord Dracula! Even so, Devil Forge Masters alone are suffused in my master's magic. Thus only a Devil Forge Master can be the vessel for his reawakening. I knew you would be the best material. <laughs> yes, much more so than Isaac. That is why I guided you here. So that you may fully regain your powers. Who are you? However, for Lord Dracula to be reborn in you, the curse had to take hold of you. When you rejected the curse, you proved to be useless. Truly, tis most unfortunate. That weapon! You are none other than death! Soon my master will enter Isaac's body. Though you were favored, Isaac will do. Dracula will once more walk the night. night. And as for you, it is time for you to die. You are reborn. Why did you betray me? Why did you unleash your hatred upon the humans? When you began slaughtering them indiscriminately, I had no choice but to disobey you. You side against me for the sake of humans. Humans are not worth the air they breathe. I was simply cleansing the world. It is not your place to judge the worth of humans. The powerful always judge the weak. The humans made their judgment of me as well. Thus, I sentenced them to extinction. The transformation, was it not complete? So it would seem. Oh, the curse. My soul may return to the abyss, but the curse will not be lifted. It will fester in the hearts of humans until they obliterate themselves. Have you forgotten? I am a Devil Forge Master. I can turn your curse aside, transform it into something harmless, and so it shall be. Rest in peace. Now that I reflect upon it, Isaac's madness and Rosalie's death were both caused by the curse. This, then, is the final forge. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release to me one of the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living! Immaculate being, appear before me now! Ghastly. Julia! Why did you come here? I thought you might be contemplating something foolish, like letting go. You see through it all, don't you? You've paid your debt, have you not? From this day on, you must live true to your own heart. You are wise indeed, Julia. I cannot fall knowing that you would fall with me. Now that you realize, we must go. Let us depart, quickly. Farewell. 
Weise. Is over at last. Even so, I pray this will truly free the people's hearts. Those hearts are yet filled with darkness. The curse has reached deep inside of them. Its mark will not easily vanish. For my brother, only death could erase it. Julia. All the same, people are not such fools. Their hope lies in one another. They shall realize that in time. Scars will fade and be lost to memory. Let us have faith in the morrow. Indeed. Faith in the morrow. Those are fine words. But not for me. As one who travels through time, I see the morrow a bit differently. All the same, the flow of time has stabilized at last. For myself, I think I will go far into the future and see what awaits. There is one great battle yet to be fought. The final battle between Lord Dracula and the humans. Perhaps... They will remember your fight, or perhaps it will start anew. What now, Hector? Where will you go? Well, I have many friends I must conceal from the humans. I suppose I'll seek some hidden place where I can live in peace. No need to search out such a place. I know of one. Pray, lead me there. I am in your debt. All that you may need, you shall find here. If that is fine with you. Well, I suppose... To stay here with you, Julia... Tis not a bad idea.
That's right. 